Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to build a DIY external SSD. So if you're new to this channel, please consider unsubscribing. Appreciate it a lot. All right, so we're gonna use the Sabrent Thunderbolt uh, enclosure and we're going to use the uh, Sabrent uh, Rocket 4 Plus uh, one terabyte uh, for this belt. Come on, let's roll the intro. So I have my the enclosure in here. So it is built purely with aluminum. So to uh, help with the heat dissipation. And then it has the Thunderbolt cable in here. It includes two thermal pads, um, uh, diff different thickness. Uh, one is for 1.2 mil, the other one is for 0.8 mil. Uh, we have the manual, the user guide. So if you uh, extend, uh, no, if you register, you can extend the warranty from one year to two years. So yep, it says it here in the back. Okay, so I have to change lens because my stuff, my lens is acting up on me. So now we have this. All right, so again, this is the case, the enclosure, which I already unboxed everything. Uh, you have the external, or I'm sorry, the M.2 drive, the actual storage, and we have it there. This is the Rocket 4 Plus, and it's a Gen 4, so it's fast enough uh, to be used on the PS4, uh, PS5 also, so yep. So if I decided not to use it as an external, we can use this one. So let's complete this one out or let's start doing it. So there you go. I don't know which uh, thermal pad am I going to use on this, but let's check. Let's be careful. Again, this is a tool free installation, so it should be easy. So if my camera focus, so we just have to put it on an angle, push it down, and we can secure it by twisting this. And there you go, you're done, finish. So I'm not sure what am I gonna use uh, for the thermal pad but we're gonna put one later. But we're just gonna close this. So I'm gonna put the thermal pad, okay? I'm not gonna remove this. It's a copper one, so it should be fine. So it should transfer heat. Um, we're gonna use the thick one, just because. I wanna use it. So there you go. So we're gonna put the, um, heat sink or the thermal pad on this one so I hope I put it properly yep it's not centered uh -huh. but it's okay so, so I don't know I, I think I'm doing this wrong there you go so let's lock it in place. And don't forget to remove the plastic. I don't know if I put it the right way. So is the blue supposed to be there? I don't know. But yeah, so then we're gonna attach the the lock oh okay now i know why all right there you go so it's locked now so i'm putting it the wrong way that's why it doesn't go all the way through so yep so there you go so now let's run it on the mac okay so now we're gonna put this one out now on the mac so we have the thunderbolt cable in there so let's just plug this one in Okay, so now it's plugged in. 
and let's see if it will recognize it. All right, so the disk you attach was not readable by this computer. So let's hit initialize and let's wait. So it's in here. So Sabrent Rocket 4.0 plus media. So in this point, we have to click erase. So we, let's rename it. Let's just put Sabrent SSD. All right. And then with the format, we're not going to use APFS. Um, we're going to use the Mac OS extended journal. Okay, so I lied. So we're going to format this into APFS. So the way to do this one out is, so right now uh, it is on HFS or Mac OS uh, extended journal. So let's do this. So to APFS. So we're gonna erase it and then change it to APFS. All right, so. Oh, whoops. Okay, so there's an error. So if you receive this error, uh, you can still convert it to APFS. So look at the use memory right now. So with the Mac OS extended, it used 600 megabytes. Uh, and I still have nothing in there, so, but still it's using 600 megabytes. So let's convert it, let's try it. So, there you go. So that one, it went true. All right. So, so if you can see on the APFS, it only used 1.1 megabytes uh, instead of 600. So the reason I went to APFS is uh, to avoid corruption because it has a significant it, it is significantly safe uh, to uh, to put it here on APFS less uh, chance of data uh, corruption file corruption on it so now we're gonna do the speed test uh, on this one so I'll put the comparison uh, on it here so let's do this 2000 not bad 2800 wow that is fast it's a fast drive for an external that is awesome oh wait wait no this is the internal this is the internal I'm sorry let's choose the drive I was surprised oh it's fast okay so let's, let's choose that okay now the truth Twelve hundred, write. Fourteen hundred, read. Let's wait. Sorry, about three times. Average thirteen hundred on write. Fifteen hundred on read. So, yep. There you go, guys. So, all right. Okay, so again, there you have it. I uh, hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Comment down below uh, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions. Uh, again, thank you for watching.